Can you imagine getting your drinking water from a stagnant pond like this one? These children are living in constant danger of deadly diseases like malaria, and cholera, and dysentery. Uh, some of them are even experiencing the pain of malnutrition. These children are hungry, they're exhausted, and they're scared. It is difficult for us to even comprehend the reality that children face every day. And while we find it hard to understand, we also miss one of the greatest causes of death around the world, the lack of clean water. From her village in Africa, Bashira walks four hours every day just to reach the nearest water source, a filthy pond covered with green scum and animal waste. It takes her hours to return home, and there's no time left for school. She will never learn to read and write. The water she collects is filled with parasites. She is literally drinking disease. Bashira starts her long walk back, carrying two jerry cans, weighing 40 pounds each. She struggles under the weight. This water will also be used for bathing and cooking. This dirty water invades every area of her life. And this is why she is constantly sick and tragically why her brothers and sisters have died. Each day is another struggle. Every day is the same. Her only goal in life is to survive. More than one billion people in the world lack access to clean water and this causes more than 2 million deaths a year, and 90% of them are children. The world water crisis is one of the largest public health issues of our time. Dirty water kills more people than war, malaria, AIDS, and even traffic accidents all combined. Something has to be done. Something has to be done now. The biggest problem we have in our community is unsafe water. You will find everybody on his knees praying uh, to God so that we may have safe water. Why? Because kids are dying like flies. Every morning you will find them somebody dying. Always the kids in schools are suffering. They were suffering from, you know, stomach ache and uh, worms in the stomachs because of uh, dirty water. You know, it becomes a problem for us who are trying to help the children. The truth is, it is difficult for us to understand the global need for water. We walk to the faucet, turn the tap on, and the water flows. We are always just a few steps away from fresh, clean water. We really don't think about water being essential to our lives. Water's essential to our fun. Pools, lakes, the beach, water parks. Water to us means vacation. In fact, Americans use more water in a single toilet flush than the average person in Africa uses in an entire day. And while the majority of the world struggles to find any kind of water source, clean or dirty, we spent $16 billion last year on bottled water alone. $16 billion. Because of lack of awareness, the frustration of not knowing what to do, and sometimes even indifference, many Christians remain relatively apathetic to the worldwide water crisis. Where is our compassion? The Bible has over 3,000 verses that speak about the poor and alleviating their pain, and Jesus commands us, love your neighbor as yourself. But how can someone who is ravaged by disease understand the love of Jesus? We must do what Jesus did and meet their basic needs first. More than 60% of Guatemala are drinking contaminated water. No matter what we do, unless we change this and start bringing clean water to the homes of the poor families, babies will keep dying. A sick child is a child that can't get educated and if they don't get educated, they don't get jobs. Uh, that's really the bottom line. By having clean water, these children have a chance to start life and to become productive citizens.
If you knew you could do something today that would actually save a child's life, would you do it? Well, today, you have the opportunity to do just that. Did you know that providing access to safe drinking water is one of the most powerful and cost-effective things we can do to save the life of a child? Instead of picturing a vast ocean of people, we must begin to see the one hurting child simply asking for clean water. Together we can bring clean, safe water to hundreds of villages around the world. The water they need is deep under the ground, and to reach it means extensive drilling, but the result is a deep bore well that will not only save lives, but transform an entire community. Children will have the time to attend school, receive an education, and escape the cycle of poverty. Just one well can provide life-saving water for an entire village of people for 20 years. You can also make a difference in the life of a child by becoming a child sponsor. You can provide food, clothing, medicine, education, and more importantly, a chance at a better tomorrow for a child in need. We have hundreds of children just waiting for a sponsor. And for the same cost as a cup of coffee a day, you can help give hope to a needy child. Will you sponsor a child today? We are not just providing help for today, but we're investing in the future. Future leaders, pastors, future teachers, doctors, and nurses, it is an investment that will be multiplied a generation from now. We can stop this crisis one child at a time. So I'm asking you to please partner with us. We can give hope to children whose lives have been devastated by disease. Their future is dependent on our compassion, and compassion requires action. You can change the world by providing clean water. It all starts with one child one well, and one person willing to make a difference.